May God grant you success in your mission. seen you smiling. It's the first time you've seen me in my own country. Look up there. Nottingham Castle. The last time I saw it, I was only a 15-year-old boy leaving for the Crusades. Round that bend is my old nurse's farm. Wait until you taste the food. Nobody's going to hurt you. Please do not take the goat, for he is all I have left now, my lord. Don't worry, my good man. We wouldn't know what to do with her. What caused this? Who destroyed everything? The same man who has taken over everything since the Count of Nottingham's death. That cursed Norman, Sir Robert. On John's orders. John without land? Yes. The king's brother, John Lachlan. He had himself elected regent after he killed off the Saxons faithful to Richard. And the people who used to live here? They've all been killed. My friend, I'm afraid your title as equerry to King Richard is no longer a guarantee to the success of our mission. To Sir Robert's soldiers. You had better run. Hurry, my lord. Who are you? Ambassadors from Henry the Sixth, the Emperor of Germany. He has sent us to confer with your regent. If what you say is true, you are fortunate. His Highness John is here now as a guest at Nottingham Castle. Follow me. Keep silent. You'll be able to pass as my aide. Nobody will recognize you after so many years. Give me the seat. Extraordinary, isn't it? I'm even better than a woman at this. Yes, extraordinary, Prince John. But when did you learn to do it? As a child. 
I'm afraid as children, dear Richard always managed to beat me at sword play. And so with the advice and helping hand of my mother, I became good at sewing and needlework. A mother is the most superior teacher for her son, dear Sir Robert. I quite agree, Your Highness. It is always a surprise to me to find out how clever women are. And of course, Matilda was first-hand experience. Clever enough that you almost let her marry you. I hope you've learnt now, Sir Robert. Never fall in love with a woman. Prince John, I didn't expect that from you. What a typically masculine concept. It is not at all. It is one of the things Mother taught me, Matilda. Your Highness, an Imperial Ambassador asks to confer with you. Ambassadors, <laughs> frustrated governors, the most noble collection of pimps in the whole world. Come along, Sir Robert. Baron Rudolf von Battenberg, Ambassador to His Imperial Highness, Henry VI. An ambassador from the Emperor is always welcome on English soil. My credentials. Such things bore me, Sir Robert. Your mission, my lord. I have been bidden to tell you this happy news. Your brother, King Richard, is alive, sir, and in perfect health. Here is his seal. Thank God he's safe and well. It was rumoured here that my brother had been drowned at sea, returning to England. Where is Richard? He's a guest at the Emperor's court, where he's being given extra special treatment. So he's a prisoner then? The Emperor has suffered certain damage at the hands of King Richard's soldiers. A small purse's compensation will enable the King to return. What sum? A million pieces of gold. Out of the question, my dear sir. I could not raise that amount of money, my lord, in a hundred years. Do not forget that we are speaking of Richard the Lionheart, King of England. Otherwise? After the summer solstice, the Emperor will no longer answer for his fate. Tell the Emperor that we'll do our best to find the money. And tell the King that we'll be devoting all of our brotherly love to resolving this matter. Your Highness. What, Sir Robert, are you thinking about? Would it be you feel that if they do not return to Germany, our problems might thus be solved? <laughs> yes, but naturally, a man like you never has any trouble in being practical, Sir Robert. I trust your initiative in these things, and I am sure you will think of an answer. Sir Guy? Yes, my lord. John has no intention of paying that ransom. With King Richard dead and out of the way, the kingdom is his. No crown attained in such a villainous way will survive very long. The people love Richard. Yes, but the people think he's already dead. So the decision's been made. It looks like we're to be killed. Come, friend, follow me. We must away. they couldn't possibly know is my knowledge of this country. As you see, I was hardly deceived by Prince John. This lessens the possibility of saving King Richard. Not if the people learn he's alive. Must I still consider myself your prisoner? I think the Emperor would show preference to a million pieces of gold over your company. Thank you, my friend. This cave has two exits. 
Follow that branch over there and you'll come to the river where you can catch a boat. And tell the Emperor that within the established time he'll receive the ransom in full. I trust you, my friend. Good luck. Good luck to you. And thank you. Give him a double ration of oats and a good rub down. Yes, me lord. Hey, innkeeper. At your service. I want a room without bed bugs, if possible, and a good hot bath. Yes, right away, sir. Don't show this gentleman our best room. Just follow me, sir. <laughs> Harder. Don't be afraid. Ah, there. <laughs> That's better. Hey, now you're exaggerating. You don't want to take the skin off my back, do you? Long live King Richard! It's been my friend. Yes, but not quite long enough to keep us from recognizing each other. <laughs> you don't easily forget the companions of your early youth. Uh, sirs, sirs, for your sake and mine, I beg you to flee at once while there's still enough time. The whole countryside is filled with Sir Robert's men. Well, there are at least a few less now. He's right, we'd best disappear. My father was killed by Sir Robert's men. There's no escape for Saxon noblemen. Just give me time enough to get dressed. Wait here for me. Take my advice, sir, and go. Joan! Don't be rich. <laughs> Alan. Alan. Your friend has already left, sir. 
Where did he go? I don't know, sir. I'll give you five gold sovereigns if you tell me. I must find him. I swear it, sir. I don't know where he went. Ten. Well, uh... Tell me first. All I know is he went towards the forest, sir. Here. anything anymore. Nice bunch of foxes to hunt down. I got you. And I <coughs> got you. Kiri Eliazon. Christi Audinos. Christi Audinos. Pater de Calis Deus. Oh, hey, King Richard. Jesus Christ. Just trying to be helpful, Father. is done, father. Not quite, my son. <laughs> now it is. Hold 
Put your sword down. That's it. What a nice jacket. I think it might fit me. Well, take it. <laughs> Come on now, drop the knife. Don't be afraid. A good hunter never hurts puppies. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, please. Do be seated. Ah, I see that one of you is missing. Judging by his place, he must be your leader. It uh, would be bad manners to start without him. That being the case, we'll wait for him and all eat together. I have a lunch. This meal will give you indigestion, my son, before you have it. waiting for you. Oh, I see. Behind the door. You're obviously a foreigner. If you were English, you would have met me face to face. That's how we are now. But you have a sword in your hand. Get yourself one. Oh, no. I prefer a quarterstaff. As you like. Suit yourself. Shall we go? After you. Well, boys, you don't want to miss the show, do you? Certainly not. <laughs> well, Come woodcutter. On. I'm ready, my fine young bucko. <laughs> You're gonna feel how hard. Oh, no, no, kill him! No. Better do dirty! Go! That's a thing to go on. Oh, now get him! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go Good fight. Yeah, there's nothing like the exercise of battle to build up my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was my cooking that tickled your appetite. <laughs> hey, Michael, aren't you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> the gospel says, as ye sow, so shall ye reap. <laughs> hey, you rascally scoundrel. Hello, Alan. I'll wager you've left nothing for me. Well, good God, Alan, we weren't expecting you until tomorrow. Don't tell me you've already done everything. I was lucky. I made contact with three other groups in the forest, and Saxons like us are in the same boat as us, surviving as best they can. Oh, uh, stranger, trying to play smart, but we gave him his due. You bumpkins. This time you've really blundered. Why? This man is a friend. I owe him my life, yet uh, that didn't stop you from deserting me. The first chance you got. I know, I, I just didn't want you to know where I live. Why not? Are you ashamed of being with us? Huck, 
Do you think I should reveal our hiding place to everybody? Ah. You see, if the soldiers catch us, we're dead men. But here in the forest, nobody can find us. We're practically inaccessible. Listen. I am a Saxon, too. And I have something to settle with Sir Robert and his bunch. I want to become one of you. I will personally vouch for him. He's a swordsman to reckon with. A man of his caliber could help us in breaking these Norman varlets. Just one thing. Do you hold any grudge against me? No grudge. Then you're one of us. You may call me Little John. That one's Friar Tuck. Then there's Will Scarlet and Lightning Hands, a fine pair of gentlemen. And I am much. You're going to want some things. You'll be seen easily in the forest wearing that chain mail. They're my brother's clothes. He was killed by the sheriff's men. Hey, now that you're one of us, what's your name, my son? This it's is... It's not important. What was your brother's name? Robin. Good. Then I shall be Robin. Who I was doesn't count anymore. From now on, I will be Robin Hood. Anim nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie. Repeat. Panum nostrum quotidianu dat nobody. Dan nobis. Oh dear. Won't you ever learn Latin? But God understands me even in English. No! No. He speaks Latin. Why don't you leave the boy alone? Shut up, you blasphemer. This lad has to learn. Now. What is this? A string of beans. <laughs> forget it, forget it. Well, what is it? And our father. Good. Now say it again, and then translate. Father nothing quies in heaven and no. Now in Latin, in kapoop. We've got to gather together all these scattered Saxons. How many are there in the forest? I don't know, 200 maybe. But they're just a bunch of homeless wretches. Your idea is sheer folly. It's the only way. We must incite the people to revolt. Otherwise, the Emperor will never receive the ransom. And King Richard will die on foreign soil. But they don't know how to fight. We'll teach them. They have no ideals. Because nobody has given them any. Even the outlaws of the forest can have ideals and we will make them the core of the rebellion against the usurpers. They'll never accept it. They only have one idea, to fill their bellies. And their weapons, <laughs> they use only for poaching. <laughs> on the king's land belong to the king. The hangman will see to you. I was hungry. Only the king himself and his guests have the right to hunt deer in the forest of Nottingham. Take the poacher away. Stop! Let him go! That deer was my shot. And with what right? Are you of noble blood? Even if she is, I doubt whether a woman could use a bow so skillfully. Oh, as for nobility, my ancestors were counts, when yours were still grazing sheep in Normandy. I am Marion of Manson, the oldest of the Saxon families.
great day this has turned out to be. Had I planned the hunt myself, it couldn't have been any better. Such a noble prey for our prince. Bring her to the castle. That Saxon, she nearly struck my brother. I hope you see she gets her desserts. What desserts, Matilda? She just hurt your brother's feelings, that's all. And besides, I have a feeling that our lovely prisoner could turn out to be an invaluable prize. Life is a valley of tears. From dust thou camest, to dust thou shalt return. But uh, we care about our dust. We can't risk it for a king, dead or prisoner. Don't you understand? England's future, as well as ours, depends on his return. Friar Tuck's right. We're too small to play so big a game. What did I tell you? Hey! Bad news! What's the matter? They got much. The miller's son. Who? The sheriff and his damn men. They got him for poaching. You know what that means? Poaching. The penalty is death. I'm not angry. When will the execution take place? Tuesday. They're always on Tuesday. With other poor devils, mostly old Saxons. Much his brother, he died the same way. Yes. And you do nothing about it? We pray. What else can we do? Of course. I forgot. From dust we came, to dust we shall return. And it's best not to risk our dust, right? By all the saints, if not fear or cowardice, I would willingly give my dust, uh, my hide for the boy. Well then, let's do it. What are we waiting for? Praise be the name of Jesus. Praise Excuse me, brothers. Jesus. Here is a pious man who needs your help. Aren't you capable of taking his confession? He's dying. A drop of your holy oil will open the doors of paradise for him. <laughs> In the name of the Sheriff of Nottingham, the following citizens have been tried, sentenced and condemned to hang by the neck until dead. John Sussex for hiding a sheep and two chickens from requisition by the sheriff's tax collectors. Roland side, Watson, Reverend. Saxon for Definitely. high treason. Gary Watson for obstructing the law in its due process Benedict by attempting Benedict. to hide his Benedict. father. Benedict. Will Cunningham for selling adulterated wine to the sheriff's soldiers. Much Scape, son of a miller, for poaching on the royal game reserve. Let these be lessons to you all. Ours will soon be the model county with only the good remaining. In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. 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 The blessing of the bodies. No! I want to see. He's a plucky little lad. They shouldn't be hanging a boy like that. <laughs> what the blaze is happening? On the coast. 
Rosie, you go. That man is a servant of the usurper. King Richard lives and will return to hang him and his friends from this very gallows. Let's free the prisoners! Let's free the prisoners! Free! men will start attacking us. We must be able to protect ourselves and attack them as well. We are no longer bandits, but King Richard's secret warriors. You, Frytuck, will find followers among the people and the peasants. Alan, you will organize the dispersed Saxons. You, John, the people of the forest. And together we'll teach them to fight. We'll ransom our king. King Richard is living, so unite with the men of the forest against the usurper. Robin Hood. Robin Hood? Robin Hood and his men who are to blame, Matilda. They're spreading the word that Richard's alive. And the people of Nottingham believe it, the traitors. I don't see what this has to do with Marion remaining in the castle. She's a captive, that's why. A captive? You treat her with great ceremony, with the height of gentlemanly courtesy. She even eats at our table. Matilda, don't you realize what it would mean if a descendant from one of the oldest Saxon families were to marry a Norman noble? It would end the country's discontent. It would be a triumph for politics. I suppose you would be the Norman noble. You have always been a woman of rare political ability. What has made you change? Is it that you're jealous? Come in. Marion of Manson. More beautiful and charming than ever. You can stop flattering me if you insist on holding me prisoner. You're merely a guest, my dear. Admittedly under special care, but once we're married... Huh, I'll never marry you. I hate you, as a Norman and as a man. Hate resembles love much more than indifference. I'll have you know, then, that I'm already promised. I was nine years old when King Richard himself engaged me to Sir Henry of Nottingham Annulling that arrangement would be easy. And if it is true you were promised to a Nottingham, so be it. You are looking at the Sheriff of Nottingham. You are only a usurper of that name. <laughs> I agree. Though I think you should remember that the way they gain power is by their force and ability. Qualities 
that the real heirs don't seem to have too much of. Next, farmer. Over there to Scarlet. Next. Woodcutter. Over there to Little John. Next. Uh, I served as an altar boy, father. Ah. Good, my son. In that case, to the kitchen. And start peeling potatoes. Next. I worked in the kitchen and out with the shopping. Oh. Quick with your hands, eh? To the vines with much. To the vines? To the vines. Next. Go, Dad. Keep a good grip on the rope with both hands, well spaced apart. That gives you control and stops you spinning round. Then let go and swing, like this. Oh! <laughs> All right now, boys. Let's see what you've learned. You, on guard. Come on. All right, now, all three of you together. <laughs> oh, this is hopeless. You're an expert with the sword. Give us our pitchforks and we'll really show you something worth seeing. Alan! Wait just a moment. Maybe he's right. Here you are. All right, swordsman. <laughs> That's fine. Excellent. Well, now, uh, take your pitchforks and go over to Fry Tuck and show him what you can do with them. All right, come on. Well, then. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. You'd better work faster than I pray, my children, or you'll be in trouble. Look out, Father. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You've still got a lot to learn. Uh, a little training will do you good. Come on, you. Watch. Keep walking. <laughs> I'll hold him. You try it now. Right out. Good love a duck, what a shot. Wonderful. That's enough. All right, let's go and eat. We'll try it again afterwards. What's wrong, Robin? Now I see an iron heart and a bronze face. Well, you know... It's Don't a... apologize. We'll make many more like this and try them out on the Normans. And every blow will bring a shower of money for the king's ransom. Hey, guards! Have you got anything to declare? This. Huh? Come on, let's go, hurry! This way, good sirs. Our best rooms are always reserved for friends of the region or my Lord Sheriff. Joan, accompany these tax collectors to the big room. Will you come with me, gentlemen? And you, have you taken care of the escort? Yes, sir. They're in the stable. Good boy. Now go outside and guard the door. All right, out you come.
A thousand pieces of gold. These tax collectors know that business. So do we. Robberies, our men attacked, subversive propaganda. It's an outrage, Sir Guy. With your permission, my lord, Robin Hood's hours are numbered. How do you mean? You know very well we can't enter the forest in force. The place is inaccessible and ideal for ambushes. Well? So let me handle it. I have prepared a trap in which our friend will be caught. Up to his neck. Then continue on as if you didn't know. Yes, my lord. Praise be our Lord Jesus. May he always be praised, my son. What are you doing here? Alone in the forest. I'm an hermit, Father. I spend my life in prayer, nourishing myself with what the good Lord provides. And you? Uh, I am the Abbot of Hendon. We are taking the harvest of our lands to the Abbey. But I fear that we have lost our way. Oh, I know this forest like the back of my hand. I will guide you. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. This way. Normans? No, a convoy of monks. Ah, too bad. I had hoped for a good prey. But their wagon is filled with God's plenty. I'm surprised at you. You would prey on Friar Tuck's colleagues? <clears throat> Father, why not recite a litany as we go along? It makes the road seem shorter. Well, actually, I'm a bit short of breath. Uh, we've Ooh. been walking a long time, you know. Ah, but praying makes walking much easier. Domine in auditorium meo me listenendum. For father, I said he listenendum. I am listening, I am listening. Well, uh, give me the proper response then. What? The response. Domine in adjuvandum. Oh, yes. <coughs> Domine adju... <coughs> Ah, you... <laughs> you see, I can't. It makes me cough. What a shame. Adel Juvando me festina. No, it's no use. It's my breath. <laughs> Latino me diomus tultorum est. Don't you agree? Oh, exactly, my son. Exactly. Well, uh, if you don't mind... I'll just go on praying alone. Very commendable, my son. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Cave frates! Non son frates, sed milites! Cari pleni sunt pretorianis! In nomine patri necessaria! Leti oderimus impartire! Estis impostoribus! Amen! Just a moment. He's not praying. What's he saying? Rapido pede accurere, periculum mortalem. Non sunt frates, sed milites, per omnes santum santorum advenias rapidi. Amen. Deo gratias! 
Claudemus Dominum. How did you like my prayer? Ooh, immensely. Fine. Now listen to the congregation's response. Twelve, twelve, we're under attack! Oh, and it shall be over to you. Orbs, orbs, we've got them! deepest thanks to Sir Robert and tell him that I'll repay all my debts the day King Richard returns to the throne. And now, if you please, go! <laughs> Just a moment. Turn around. <laughs> I placed you there. It is absolutely inadmissible that you're unable to catch that miserable outlaw and his five-man band of beggars. My lord, it's not a question of a five-man band of beggars, as you put it. In reality, he has the entire population with him, helping him. My brother is right. He must beat Robin Hood at his own game. He goes around the countryside telling people Richard is alive, so why not announce it officially? <laughs> I hardly think the prince would agree to being so foolish. He will if it's to his benefit. What is Robin Hood's excuse to steal and loot? To get the money for Richard's ransom. You can use the same reason to crush the people under the weight of taxes. They will pay, but they will curse the name of Richard while his regent collects their money and goods. As the sheriff, Matilda, the people will also learn to hate me. The people's sympathies turn like a weather vane. Attract them to you. Amuse them. Since the old Count died, there have been no public games or amusements. The stick with the carrot. An old trick, but it always works. I don't enter into discussions with Saxons. Guy? Whereas I am not in the least bit against the Saxons. And it would make me happy to restore the simple traditions that were always a part of Nottingham. Very interesting. Then why not begin with the oldest? The Longbow Tournament. It's more than just a contest of skill in our country. It's a national holiday. An excellent proposal. And my dear, in homage to you, I shall grant immunity to all Saxons participating in the tourney. Does that please you? I'm very grateful. But remember, Saxons have always won it. It has always been won by a Nottingham. I don't want to be the first to break that tradition. It may be a great tradition, but it seems to me it's more important now to fight the sheriff. That's exactly why I want to go. To make a fool of him before the people. The humiliation of defeat wounds more deeply than an arrow. Perhaps, but if they get their hands on you, our cause is lost. We'll have to go with you. Then that's the end of my idea. The castle is full of soldiers. Here, in the forest, we have the advantage. 
But in a pitched battle, in the open? Exactly. If only we could do something about those soldiers. Hey, Alan. That's not a bad idea. Hmm? In fact, it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> this time we've got him, Sir Robert. For your sake, I hope so. But are you absolutely certain of the information you've got from the woodcutter? More than certain. It cost me 50 gold pieces. Robin and his men will take advantage of the tourney and attack the Abbey of Hendon today. Right. Get all the men available and hide them around the Abbey. Today could be a day that'll give me both a victorious win at archery and Robin Hood as a guest in one of my cells. You see, amuse them, and the people are yours. Is our guest not coming? No. Her maid informed me she was getting ready, sire. Give me two apples. That's, that's yours, lad. Just what in the devil are they waiting for? <laughs> I don't know. The people are waiting for your signal. They are, are they? But it's not going to hurt them to wait. Here she is, my lord. Welcome, my dear. But what in the devil is that you're wearing? No Saxon noble has ever failed to participate in this tournée. And if you don't mind, I'll continue the tradition. I'll take part in the next game. Beautiful girl, huh? Who is she? That girl is of noble Saxon birth. I don't understand what she's doing there among the Normans. A Saxon? Marion of Manson. Marion? The last time I saw her, she was nine years old. Well, that's hardly a reason to become so disturbed. <laughs> yes, it is, Alan. She was promised to me by King Richard himself. Hey, Robin! What's wrong? It's her, the lady who tried to save me, the one the sheriff took prisoner. Now I understand. She's still a prisoner. One more reason for our presence here. Preliminary elimination contest. Contestants, numbers one to ten, prepare to shoot. Well, that's you, my friend. Good luck. sign at all of that damn Robin Hood yet, sir. I know he'll get here sooner or later. We'll wait. Patience is the weapon of the strong. Targets in place at a distance of 160 feet. Contestants 1, 2, 9, 10 and 15 qualify for the next game. and 90 feet. Milady, it is an honor to compete against you. The honor is all yours. That depends on one's point of view. Defeating a woman is not, after all, so great an honor. Nor for a noble woman to beat a peasant. Such a distance is too great for a girl. I don't think you'll make it. 
save your breath, or you'll be without any when you shoot. Too far for both of us. As you can see, I haven't shot yet. seems to pay well too, my lord. But perhaps it doesn't keep you in such good training. You shoot well-placed arrows with your tongue. Very well-placed. Let's hope you place as well with a bow. Are you ready to shoot? Targets in place. Distance, 320 feet. Never lasted this long against me. I'll tell you what, my lord. Let's not waste any more time. One more shot each at a special target. What? That one. The weather vane on the tower. It's impossible. Nothing will shoot that distance. Not so, my lord. The bow of Nottingham will. That bow can't be bent. The wood is too hard. It is said that only a Nottingham knows how to bend it. Well, if that is the case, then. Bring the bow here. There'll be no winner in this tournée. At any rate, it already has a loser. With your permission, I have still to try my hand with it. This man immediately. You promise us immunity! People of Nottingham, this is the lying word of Sir Robert and John the Regent. This is how they mean to pay King Richard's ransom. Shake him quickly.
robbed at Norman's. This we've earned honestly. I almost feel the bite of guilt. Come on. Up. To the forest. Robin Hood. A very pleasant lad. Yes, yes, I know him well. He came by only yesterday and brought us more than generous offering with the plate here. Uh, you might be able to help me locate... You see, he left a message for a certain Sir... Sir Guy. Well, I'm Sir Guy. Oh, what fortunate circumstances. Here we are. With a thousand thanks, now you may return home and greet Sir Robert for me. Affectionately yours, Robin Hood. Uh, what a sweet person he is. I've always said so, Sir Guy. Here you'll be safe. Welcome, my lady, among the brothers of the forest. Hey, Robin. I see. You took the beauty while we got the booty. Here, a hundred pieces of gold. <laughs> Go on, put it with the rest. All right. And Tuck, food and wine for everybody. We are going to celebrate. <laughs> this is the day those Normans won't soon forget. A Saxon game, a Saxon winner. Well done, Robin. And we have a hundred more pieces of gold towards King Richard's release. Have you told her yet? No. Not yet. Sweet, beautiful Marion. You vile peasant. Just because you freed me doesn't give you the right to. You're nothing but an outlaw. If my fiancé were present, he'd beat you. Excuse me. I didn't know you were already promised. Who is the fortunate man? Sir Henry of Nottingham, equerry to King Richard. I understand. A nobleman. Well, I see you've lost none of your impetuous temperament, Marion. Alan Adale, please protect me from this man. Do you think it's really necessary? Perhaps our guest would have preferred remaining at the castle. As a Saxon, I'd rather be with you. But I will not permit you to take advantage of a situation like this. Did you see that temperament? I saw that whack she gave you. Oh. Why didn't you tell her who you are? I like her. She's marvelous. Well, then. I want her to love me for myself. Not because we're officially engaged. Robin Hood against Sir Henry. <laughs> and it will be some fight. Made a fool of in front of everybody. Robin Hood simply walks up and abducts Marion of Manson from under my nose while all my soldiers are at a convent? Has everyone gone mad in Nottingham? My lord, the regent has just arrived at the castle. Sir Guy, your head will roll before mine does. Don't expect any help. Your Highness. Please excuse my arriving so unexpectedly. I just received news of what happened. And I must say, he tricked you extremely cleverly. I might add, dear Sir Robert, I have decided to take advantage of your hospitality for a few days. It is an honor, Your Highness. Doubly so, as the possibility of no longer being worthy of your trust was on my mind. But what motive would I have for denying you it? It is through your ability and yours alone that people have given so very generously towards Richard's ransom. I felt it would be wise to come here and show the people a royal appreciation. And in the same instant completely blacken their saintly image of Robin Hood. I don't think you'll find it'll be that easy. And I beg to differ. We're going to pay the ransom. After all said and done, Richard is my brother, you know. Still blood of my blood. The money I've been collecting here, sire, is to go to the Emperor. Yes, and everyone in the land is to know what we are doing. I want you to organize a ceremony to publicize it. All should be aware that the Prince is making great efforts for Richard. Very great efforts. A good thick slice of real country cheese will take away your melancholy, milady. 
No, thank you. Usually, that kind of look comes from an empty stomach. Or is it a case of love sickness? I don't understand how a man like you can be so... So villainous? Worse, so vulgar. Hmm. As you know, unfortunately, I'm not a nobleman. No, that's not it. Then perhaps it's because I beat you in the longbow tournament. I was beaten by Robin Hood the champion of the whole of Britain, and I, I imagine you think a lot of your title. No. I participated in the tourney only because it was useful to my king. There you see, that shows the soul of a nobleman. Well, maybe, but only the soul. To please you, I'd need the coat of arms that goes with it. You forget I'm already promised. Hmm, yes to the famous Sir Henry. What's he like? Uh, he is uh, tall, handsome and courageous. Ah, he's like me then. He is altogether different. How? In what? Robin! Robin! What is it, Alan? The Regent has just declared he's going to pay King Richard's ransom. When? It's to leave Nottingham tomorrow, with the Primate of England giving it his blessing in a special ceremony. Good. That means Richard will soon return. You don't really believe that? No, of course not. That money will get no further than London unless we decide to make sure that it reaches its destination. Milady, the day of your fiancé's return is very near. I'm happy to hear it. Very happy. Are you sure? More than ever. Then know on that day one of us must die, Sir Henry or Robin Hood. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Face the seals. that this hard-won ransom demanded by the Emperor Henry VI, amassed with the great generosity of the people of England, will bring us the joy of a quick, safe return for our brother, the beloved Sovereign of England, King Richard the Lionheart. <laughs> it somehow. I'll give the signal when the cavalrymen have passed, just before the wagon goes by. To your places. You will come with me. Come on. Come on. Add more pitch. We need a noise fire. That's it.
Now drop your sword. My friend, it is your fortune that I must always spare you. I want you to tell everybody what the friends of the forest can do. Now go on back to Sir Robert. Move! <laughs> Naturally, my sweet and aristocratic Marion. Why? Are you displeased? On the contrary. Thanks to you, Sir Henry's return is very close now. And that makes you happy, I know. Maybe you know less than you think. Well now, Robin, shall we feast our eyes upon this heaven-sent offering? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's. Unload it, Tuck. This is possibly the only chance we'll ever have of seeing so much gold. Right. Yes. Right. Oh. Heavy, isn't it? Oh. Well, let's open it. Open it. Foxes. Very clever, our able regent. Everyone will now believe that Robin Hood has stolen the gold. And King Richard is doomed. We've got to get that money back. We've got to. They must have substituted the coffer somewhere along the road between Nottingham and the forest. Hmm. There's only one place they could have taken it quickly and without anyone seeing them do it. Yes, the castle. <laughs> the castle. Forty foot high walls, gates that are heavy and barred and more soldiers than a dog has fleas. Right. But don't forget, it's my home. The German Emperor will be insulted when the money for Richard doesn't arrive. Richard's fate is sealed and by the end of the summer our Prince will sit on the English throne. And you, the second most important man in the kingdom. Your projects and dreams are coming true. But don't forget mine. Your dreams will be attended to. But first I must capture Robin Hood, Matilda. And with him, Marion of Manson. Be careful, Robert, my dear. That Saxon woman can only lead to trouble for you. The Emperor will have the ransom before they're aware of the trick. Quick, let's get it out of here. Let Tuck put that torch out. Blessed God, what a rosary. I'm through telling off chickpeas and beans. Just a moment. The door. Be 
If they should learn now what we have done, the game is up. We'll never reach the forest, and Richard is as good as dead. What will we do, then? I'll stay right here and keep them from finding out. But... Go quickly. Do as I say. Go! Alan. Start immediately for Germany. You yourself can sign the gold to the Emperor. As of this moment, the King's life is in your hands. It'll be done. Robin Hood. Too bad. A moment later, and I would have made a fool of you again. I would say that you have pushed your luck too far. Yes, my friend, it's the end for you. In the name of our great and beloved Earl, the Lord Sheriff of Nottingham, it is announced today that the brigand and outlaw, known only by the name of Robin Hood, has been tried and condemned to death and will be drawn and quartered for the following crimes. Theft, looting, murder and treason against the King and the people of England. Mea culpa. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. It's all my fault. The Lord listened to me more when I prayed with beans and chickpeas. We must do something. We can't just leave him to die in there. What can we do? The people have abandoned us. And with just a handful of men, we can't do a thing. Listen. I know what we can try. I can save Robin. Your proposal is certainly acceptable. But I want a guarantee of some sort. I can't just liberate Robin Hood. The moment he's free, you could refuse to go through with the marriage. And that wouldn't be right, would it? You have my word. The word of a Saxon noblewoman. Ah, but should it be taken seriously? In proposing to me, your word has already been broken. Your word to Sir Henry, remember? If you wanted to humiliate me, then you have succeeded. Now, I'm waiting for your answer. All right, Marion. Your proposal is taken. I accept. But I intend to keep Robin Hood a prisoner until after the marriage ceremony, my dear. Get up and follow me, and be quiet. It's for your own good. My love. What was that? Uh, 
you mistaking me for Sir Henry? I don't even remember what he looks like. Which door? The door in the west rampart, my lady. Thank you, Matilda. There's no need to thank me. I'm also a woman in love. And with him free, you won't marry Sir Robert. As you can see, my lord, my allegiance is not for sale. It is yours. Keep it. Thank you, my lord. You shouldn't have done it, my dear. No matter. The comedy is finished now. No, not yet. You will never marry that woman. I'll make certain of that. Oh. Oh. Stop! Move any nearer and she dies. Your sword, drop it. All right, take him away. The ceremony will take place right in the center of Nottingham. We'll ask all the people, and we must include Robin. I cannot think of a more welcome guest. That's their signal. I'll ride ahead. No. I want to see for myself what they can do. Oh! How are you? Men of courage. If you are also, you will fight me one at a time. Milksops! That's what you look like to me. Tin soldiers. You've come just in time. It's been too long since I had any fun. If you want a taste of this little beauty, step down off that plow horse. I'm ready. <laughs> and now, my son, you will receive my only blessing. you to employ your blade. Let us see if you are any better than your friend. If I hadn't held back my blade, your head would have split like your quarterstaff. There's only one blade in the world that could have done that. King Richard. Oh. 
Gloriam nostrum in nomine Domini. Rivecit celum et terram. Domine ex audio rationem meam. Et clamor meus ad fedeniat. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spirito tuo. Just to remind you, Marion, I shall order Robin killed if you should refuse. Have no fear. I'll keep my word. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. According to the right of our Holy Mother, the Apostolic Roman Church, do you, Sir Robert, Minister of England, Earl of Nottingham, accept in the bond of matrimony this woman, Marianne of Manson? Yes. And you, Marianne of Manson, will you take Sir Robert here present for thy lawful husband? According to the right of our Holy Mother Church. No, I will not. Kill him. <laughs> Anyone who objects to the marriage between Marion of Manson and Sir Robert, so called Earl of Nottingham? I do, sire. Marion of Manson is already promised. I request permission to demand satisfaction for the offense this man has committed. I refuse it. For nobility should only do battle with equal rank. You will fight as equals. Sir Henry of Nottingham. My first equerry. Release Sir Robert. I told you that one day either Robin Hood or Sir Henry would have to die. Alan, your sword. I'm ready.
before your king. Your majesty, his life is in your hands. Have mercy, sire. They were your brother's orders I was following. He's lying. Don't believe him. He's the one, the only one who betrayed you. Liar. You pay for that, you miserable wretch. You will both end your days in the Tower of London. At least you'll have company. Take them away. No, no. You can't do this to me. Let me go. I am your king. I am your king. Robin. Robin is dead. The victor is Sir Henry. Oh, I forgot. You loved Robin. Henry. My lord. My bride. You thief! You sacrilegious bandit! I'll have you stripped of your orders! Excommunicated! You heretic! You're forgetting that from now on I'm the efficient to the Earls of Nottingham. Right, Sir Henry? Oh, right, Friar Tuck. Well, then, it's my right to celebrate this marriage. I'm ready. I've dreamed of a vestment like this for a long time. Oh, <laughs> How dare you laugh at the representative of the church? The weight of its authority will fall upon you! Oh, my God. The time for clubbing and fighting is ended. Now, it's time for love.